Hi guys, welcome to my first tutorial video using Laragon and Laravel. For our tutorial, I will help you set up Laragon and create a new project. Some developers use Valet and Homestead for their server. But for me, in my opinion, it's much way easier to use Laragon because you won't take much time on set up your database terminal and your root. It also has a virtual host so you can have a pretty URL. So now we will create new project. Just go to your taskbar and right click the icon and quick create Laravel. The name of the project which is tutorial 1 click OK and command prompt will show up so you can see the process of downloading the Laravel project. So I will just skip this because it will take our time. Okay so now guys we are finished with our installation of our Laravel. So Laragon creates our pretty URL and our project path. In here, at the La Laravel installation, it also includes our application key, which you can manually command it using Artisan Key Generate. So this this version of our Laravel is 5.6, so it's the latest for this time. Okay. It also creates our .env file, which is our server variable. That's what I call it, server variable, because it's not really on the code. It's for the uh, for the setup. <coughs> so we will open it. Our project. In this series, uh, I used. I use visual code, it's the new one, and lightweight than the other software editor. This is where our app key, the application key, so the website could load and it has its own token. And our other database setup. Also they give us our default variable for in case you want to in case you want you want to set up a email server or uh, a socket okay uh, and then we will install also the npm the node modules so we could have a package for our front end our JavaScript so we will install and you you should write uh, we will type npm install and press enter. I think uh, for this command line generate, it won't read the npm install. So we should go to the Largon terminal. Okay. So in this uh, terminal, Largon will identify the composer and also the npm so you don't need to install the composer or the npm you just download the Laragon portable or the installer it's much easier that's why I choose this also this is the advantage so you type npm install Oops. Okay. Uh, we should go inside our project. So our project, also in this terminal, you can use the command for Linux. So let's type ls list, and you will you can see our project 
project folder which is the tutorial one so you should change directory and press tab okay and third and we're now inside the folder of tutorial one and you can type the npm install for javascript so it's downloading all the node modules we need it will take a minute so also while we installing i will give you a hint i will give you a quick review of our directory before i show you our website so for our directory structure we have the package for npm and laravel uses webpack for 5.6 composer our uh, so we have our composer our artisan which is we use our laravel command the git ignore and the git attributes the environment variables which is i called server variables vendor for laravel the packages it will auto load all the packages test for testing our script storage if you put some files on it it will simlink on your public folder it will create a storage folder in here routes this is where you call our controller it uses to call our controller it's mostly our URL for resources this is where we put our JS and our SAS SCSS and NPM will minify it and put it on the public folder this is our node modules for our front end JavaScript and CSS packages our database mostly for creating tables and inserting data by Tinker and also seeding so this so for config folder we have our we have our setup for different components like our database setup cache and broadcasting and many more also our authentication bootstrap it's not the bootstrap which is the framework but it's the bootstrap which create a cache for your laravel project the app folder would consist of console, our exception handler, our model, our provider, our service provider, HTTP, which is which has the controllers middleware. Okay. So so now uh, we will access our website if it works let's see our Laragon okay let's start it already started okay so you will use the pretty URL for Laragon okay this is will okay this is the our local host and we try to run it and it's not working because we might missing something so we will check if our host uh, Laragon some <coughs> we will check if Laragon 
list our pretty URL in our host file. Sometimes it's in our system 32 drivers and drag it on our so it's it has our pretty URL copy paste that and press enter still not working maybe we need to reload and enter still not working okay sorry guys Okay, so it has a port 85. Okay, so the problem was it was on port 85. So we need to put the that the colon 85. I just so we try to put an 80. So it will reload the Apache. And we could try it again by removing the 85 and that's it okay so we try to edit our Laravel okay we try to edit it on our resource resources and views okay. so this is the default so this is the welcome it uses a uh, blade we will discuss that later on so we try to edit it. Okay. Uh, hello world. Okay, and save it. Let's go to the side and reload it. Okay. I think it's working now. So for the next tutorial, I will teach you how to use routes and controller thanks for watching youtube please like and subscribe